Hello folks, how are you doing? Uh, we are back again on the battery. Now, I want to make something clear at this stage, okay? Uh, as you can see, the fuses have been put in, uh, soldering have been done. So at this stage, I'd like to say, folks, uh, if you don't know how to do basic things, okay? you shouldn't try this at all if you don't know things like how to change the wheel how to you know just simple and how to change bulbs this is not the place for you because this this is almost 100 volts okay and there will be two of them in series so 200 volts it will punish you if you you're not careful so I want to make it clear at this stage that if you are not sure about certain things, don't try this. Leave it to somebody else. You have to learn more and more first and then come to do this stuff, okay? Because I don't want to tomorrow be responsible or somebody say, oh, I've seen the nice guy doing this. Now look. I tried to do this and it hurt me or it hurt my husband or my girlfriend or whoever. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I want to make it clear. It's, it can be dangerous if you're not careful. But if you know what you're doing, then it's all right. So this is almost 100 volts. They're connected in series. If you have seen previous videos... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, please go see them to understand what's going on here. The battery in the Prius PEV, its nominal charge is 207, nominal charge, okay? So these, uh, the nominal charge, it will be the same as in the Prius, okay? So I'm just going to connect them in parallel uh, to so that this pack and the other pack that will be working with this then they help the battery in the Prius because that battery is absolutely rubbish when I got this car in December we are in March when I got this car in December it was showing 12.8 miles after charging now it's only showing nine miles so that means it is dying you know another two months it will be showing probably only seven miles this is a rubbish battery you know, it's absolutely rubbish. So having this one paralleled with it, it will help save it. It's useless to save it because it's just too heavy, but it doesn't produce a lot. Because what, what they've done is, even though it's 4.4 kilowatt, you can only use 3 kilowatt. Okay? You can only use 3 kilowatt. They're trying to, to save it by... You know, not allowing you to use 1.4 a kilowatt of the battery. But it is still rubbish. I mean, if they were allowing you, the battery to use all the 4.4, it would be probably dead by now. And the car is only 80,000 miles. So it is a, it is a rubbish battery. I will, I will just say that. It's a rubbish battery. But I think if it's paired with this one, then the degradation on it or, you know, it losing its capacity will reduce significantly. Now, I'm going to start with this one and the other pack for now. If these work well, eh, and I see that they don't overheat as they work in the car, they just get a bit warm, then I'm going to get... Three more modules, break them and do exactly the same thing uh, and then put it into the car, okay? Put it into the car to help the battery into the car. Now, uh, I know somebody's watching this and thinking, you're, gonna get, you're going to add more weight. Well, uh, this is just a test. I'll be adding more weight, yes, but it's just a test for now. If those packs work very well, Okay, I'm going to remove the battery in the car because it weighs 80 kilos. Now I'm going to get these to weigh 80 kilos and replace the battery in the car with these. 
Now I'm going to have over 24 kilowatts with these, but having the same weight with the, the battery in, in that car. So it will be 80 kilo of this, 80 kilo of that, which I will remove though. So the car, the weight wouldn't change whatsoever. The only thing that will change is the capacity. Okay. Now I know somebody is saying that the battery in the car releases power quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The battery in the car releases power quickly. You know, Prius is not a fast car. These, they release power slowly. So Prius is not a fast car anyway. You know, he, 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 it's a slow car. So I don't mind, you know, driving it slow if they're taking power from this, uh, if it's taking power from this battery slowly. It doesn't matter for me. It actually increases the range, you know, <laughs> increases the range. So a regular battery that will be 20 kilowatts, if it does about 80 miles, then this one may do 90 miles because it increases the range. Okay. Right. Let me just uh, show you the voltage now. Right. Now I've set up my meter. Uh, so here, the positive, I'll just go. I can just go here. And then as you can see there, it says 99.7. Excellent. Okay. Now, I remember someone asking me, how do I know this is positive? That is negative. This is positive uh, side of the cell. Okay. There is a negative and positive side of this little cell. So, if it's this side, if it's, you know, it's facing up, what the side is always going to be positive. If it's facing down, because these are facing down, it will always be negative on this side, okay? So that, that's how I know. They cannot, uh, you, you can still have this one facing down and that one facing down on that side. So when you measure the voltage, then you have to connect the probe or the wire from the other side where the positive is because it's not going to give you a very accurate reading if you just take it from you know, at the at the back of the cell here and at the back of the cell there. Okay, so all this you have seen is almost 100 volts. Uh, that means if I attach here and I attach there, I'll have 100 volts running around my body and it might be really interesting, but I would like, I wouldn't want to test that, okay? I will just say, uh, I was just showing you that, uh, you know, this this is working very well. And the fuses, let me just zoom in. Yeah, as you can see, I've put some fuses there. These fuses are only 5 amps, so they will break at 5 amps. If anything goes above 5 amps, because I want to save the cells. If anything goes above 5 cells, the fuse will break. Okay, let me just show you on the other side. Now, as you can see here, I have doubled the fuse okay there's a reason why i've done that and the reason is very simple so this side will be 10 amp fuses because this will be the bottom of the cell okay so the reason i've done it five uh, a 10 sorry 10 amps is because i only want the fuses on the top side to break if there's an issue I don't want the ones at the bottom to break because, you know, how am I going to see that they have, you know, they are broken if this is the base? Because I just want to look from the top to see, you know, if everything is going right. I want these ones to stay. And actually, I feel like I should have, you know, maybe bought a, maybe 15 amps to make them a bit harder to break. Okay. To make them a bit harder to break. I don't want this side for the fuses to break only on the top side. Okay, guys. So that's the way it is. Uh, it's going very well. I'm doing this very slowly because, guys, I have to work to support the family. I have so many responsibilities. And today as well, I'm not feeling very well. I had sore throat. So... Once it's ready, you will see it, folks, okay? Thank you very much for watching and for your support, guys. Bye-bye. Ta.